Flames, I am here to give you a special reading. Um, a lot of you have asked the question like, okay, why is my Divine Masculine ignoring me or my Divine Feminine? I've had a couple of you whose Divine Feminines are ignoring you and you want to know why. And so I'll tell you the answer first before the reading. Like, how am I able to do that? How am I able to tell you that answer before I even pull the cards? Well, it's because I know and understand how Twin Flame Dynamics work. And I'm before we do the reading, I will also let you know that I offer personalized card readings. If you visit my website, you can grab one of those. It's going to be very specific to your union to help you work through the specific blocks that you're facing right now. Um, but if, you, if you're new to Twin Flames, this is going to either sound really heinous or, um, or it's going to come as a relief to you. And I hope that it's the latter because it actually means that you have all the power to heal your union. So why does your Twin Flame ignore you? Well, it's because um, you and your twin flame are not separate. You're one at the core. And everything that your twin flame does is a reflection of you. They are your divine mirror, divine counterpart and perfect partner in every way. And every time that they show you something, they're really showing you something about yourself. So I really invite you to look at this reading. You can look at it from the perspective of why are they ignoring you? But I invite you to see where it is you're ignoring yourself. And I'm going to give you some assistance into interpreting the cards for you and for them. Because your twin flame is you, right? You're a union. You're a set. You aren't separate from them. So what applies to you applies to them too. So let's read them. Okay, the first deck that I'm going to pull from is the Moonology deck to talk about the energy that's coming up in your union right now. Why is there this ignoring that's happening? Oh, that one came out. Oh, I got a lot of shifty cards today. This might be the angle with which I'm shuffling. There's one that came right out. Oh, caught them. They really want to talk to you. That's why they're jumping, right? That's a good one. Okay. Okay. So we've got prosperity lies ahead. Step out of your comfort zone and luck is on your side. So what, what this indicates to me is that there's just some shyness in your union, which means that um, either you're afraid or they're afraid or both, which is the truth, it's both of you, are reluctant to reach out because there's this like discomfort with it. Um, many of you may be holding on to past beliefs about divine masculine and divine feminines that are not true. Like you might think that it's the man's job to chase the woman or um, you know, the woman is supposed to be nurturing and receiving and she's not like whatever is happening in your union. Um, it's, you're going to need to make a shift here. Um, because this is what's going to move things. These two cards is really cool. You've got two new moons and then tying them together is this step out of your comfort zone. So you might want to, even if, even if you were the last one to text or call, you might want to get, step out of your comfort zone, swallow your pride, and try again. Uh, maybe take a funny picture. Maybe take a picture of what you cooked for dinner. Maybe take a picture of yourself. They would really like that. Trust me, they think you're hot stuff. So step out of your comfort zone. You can try things, but remember not to do anything until you heal this feeling on the inside. If you feel uncomfortable, you're like, I'm just going to fine. Coach Lacey told me to send a picture, and I did, and he didn't reply anyway. Well, you haven't cleared it within your heart yet. Um, you haven't, like, you've not healed. You've got to heal first before you take action. But really consider that there's things that you haven't done yet. Um, and that luck is on your side. So you can actually substitute the word God there. God is on your side. And this is where you're going to have success to get out of your comfort zone. 
Um, don't expect anything either. Just because you communicate on the outside and you don't get a response does not mean that it wasn't received or that you didn't communicate. Remember, this is for you, right? This is for your healing. If you're like, you know, I'm just really proud that I finally took my first selfie. <laughs> you gotta be living in a cave, but still, like I, I just sent my twin flame my first selfie. That's more like it. Um, and, and it really stretched my limits. I felt good about it. I don't care if he doesn't respond all good, peaceful. That's all that you need to do because this journey isn't a journey to your twin flame. Although you get your twin flame in the process, this journey is a journey to God, to the divine within you. Right. And that's all you ever need. It's so juicy and so fulfilling. Um, let's find out what your divine counterpart wants to say. We're going to use the lover's oracle cards. These are kind of hard for me to shuffle. So I'm just going to kind of go like this and grab the one off the bottom. I'm not looking. You can't see my eyes, but I'm not looking. One off the top. And one from the middle. All right, what do we got here? Good. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. They are saying this to you right now. Then this is the one that, that we need to look at. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. I'm going to pause here because that's really important. I need to tell you about something called the mirror exercise. And the mirror exercise is designed to help you learn how to pull all the energy from the outside back into you to heal. It's, it's really there to teach you how to love yourself. Um, and this is really, really, really important on this journey because whatever love you give yourself is going to be reflected back to you. Now, you don't do it for the sake of getting your twin flame or someone to, to love you back. You do it because it feels good. And um, I needed help with this at first on, on my journey. And, and I really recommend working with me. I'm a master certified ascension coach and I can help you um, with doing this inner work, that's the only way that you're going to unify with your twin flame. It's the only way. There's no other way than to do this. So you might as well go ahead and start, right? Cool. Now let's find out some advice from these spirit animals. I love these guys. They they always tell me something that feels good, um, that gives me my next steps. Sometimes they, um, they say things to remind you of who you are. It's just, they're really nice. All right. Oop. I feel like they're hibernating a little bit. Oh, there's one. Okay. There's two. All right. So what would the animals like to, how are the animals helping us here? Think on your feet act as if oh this is nice a really nice message and nightingale spirit love is all around look at this beautiful palindrome 4114 and then 27 um the love is all around card it really kind of lines up with this card right like you're protected you're safe to step out of your comfort zone think on your feet and act as if both go with that like You've got to really choose to feel loved and saved right now and to make a change. Maybe being out of your comfort zone means um, asking for support on this journey. A lot of people try to do this on your own. Don't try to do it on your own. It will not make you happy. You'll be struggling on the struggle bus for a long time. You don't need that. It's like you try to walk across the country, but what God's showing you is like, hey, you know what? Just take, take a plane, <laughs> like take the fast way, take the fast track and get some support on the journey. Also, this is talking about, you know, maybe, um, maybe you need to be the one to reach out again you're, and you might be afraid. You're like, I don't want to be a stalker. I don't want to be annoying or badgering. You're not if you're doing it with love and how you know you're doing it with love is you heal using the mirror exercise, everything that's out of alignment with love inside and you act as if meaning you know in your heart that your twin flame is your person right you're gonna be with them 
And so you can just take this journey as difficult as it seems on the outside and just look at it as learning experiences on your way to your twin flame. Remember the time is an illusion. So it doesn't really matter um, that you're, you're here right now healing these blocks. What does matter is that you move forward, that you just take that next step forward and doing what you need to do to heal. And your twin flame will mirror that choice. When you choose that, um, your twin flame will mirror that choice to you. So thank you so much. And I hope you like this reading. Again, if you'd like your own personal reading, please book me on my website. You can also book my twin flame, Josh. Take care. Bye-bye.